Are you ready to dive into the darkest corners of the internet, like places so creepy they'd make your skin crawl? This isn't some fluffy bunny rabbit hole, guys. This is the deep web we're talking about, the stuff they don't want you to see. Viewer discretion is like seriously advised. We're about to uncover the hidden, the disturbing and the downright terrifying. So buckle up, stay safe and get ready to explore the chilling unknown. Okay, so you guys know how much I love a good mystery, right? But this, this is next level. We're talking about red rooms, the stuff of nightmares. The legend goes that on the dark web, hidden behind layers of encryption and secrecy, are these websites, these horrifying places where you can supposedly pay to watch live torture and murder. I know, I know it sounds insane, right? Like something straight out of a horror movie, right? But the internet is full of stories, whispers, and alleged screenshots that suggest otherwise. Some people claim to have stumbled upon these red rooms accidentally, describing horrific scenes they can't unsee. Others whisper about the high price tag supposedly required to enter these gruesome viewing parties. And then there are the stories about specific individuals who vanished without a trace, their disappearances potentially linked to these red rooms. Now, I'm not saying any of this is definitely true. The thing is, with the dark web, it's almost impossible to tell what's real and what's just an urban legend designed to freak us out. But that's what's so terrifying, isn't it? The possibility, the unknown, it's enough to make you want to sleep with the lights on. There have been a few supposed cases linked to red rooms, but nothing conclusive. One case that always sticks in my mind is, but again, concrete evidence is hard to come by. The dark web is designed to be untraceable, which makes investigations incredibly difficult. Is that by design? All right, guys, let's talk about something that's both terrifying and weirdly fascinating. The alleged hitman network on the dark web. It sounds insane, right? Like something straight out of a spy movie. But according to some pretty creepy corners of the internet, there are websites where you can actually hire a hitman. These websites, they claim to offer everything from simple intimidation tactics to well, you know, the scariest part, some people believe they're completely real. We're talking about detailed websites, complete with price lists, services offered, and even customer reviews. It's like ordering a pizza, but a thousand times more messed up. Some sites even claim to offer guaranteed services with options for disposal of the body and everything. It's enough to make you question everything you thought you knew about the internet. But here's the thing, separating fact from fiction in this arena is almost impossible. Are these websites real, or are they elaborate scams designed to prey on people's darkest desires? It's a chilling thought, right? To think that someone could be out there browsing these sites and actually considering taking a life. And the truly terrifying thing is, we don't know how many of these supposed hitmen are real or just scammers. There have been cases, though, where the lines between the digital world and reality become blurred, like this one-time Guys, this next chapter is by far the most disturbing thing I've ever researched. We're talking about the darkest corners of the dark web, where some people believe horrific human experiments are taking place. These aren't just creepy pastors or scary stories, okay? There are actual websites and forums dedicated to discussing, planning, and even documenting these alleged experiments. It's like something out of a dystopian nightmare where human life is treated as nothing more than a science project. The things they talk about on these sites, it's enough to make you sick. We're talking about everything from illegal drug trials on unsuspecting victims to genetic engineering experiments that would make your skin crawl. Some people even believe that these sites are used to buy and sell human subjects. It's a terrifying thought, right? that somewhere out there, people are being subjected to unimaginable horrors, all in the name of twisted science. The scariest part is that we don't know how much of it is true. Is it possible that these websites are just a haven for the deranged, a place for them to share their sick fantasies? Or are they a chilling glimpse into a horrifying reality? There have been cases, you know, like one time. Chapter four. Your identity for sale, the dangers of stolen data. You guys, in this digital age, our identities are like our most valuable possession, right? But on the dark web, your identity is just another commodity for sale. 
We're talking about massive online marketplaces where hackers and criminals buy and sell stolen data. Credit card numbers, social security information, even passports and driver's licenses, it's all up for grabs to the highest bidder. It's like an online black market for your personal information. These marketplaces are sophisticated, with rating systems for sellers and even customer support. It's crazy, they even offer bulk discounts. Imagine your entire life's information being sold online for a few hundred bucks. That's the reality of the dark web. The worst part is that most people don't even know they've been compromised until it's too late. They've drained bank accounts, opened credit cards in your name, even committed crimes using your identity. And tracing it all back to the source? Nearly impossible. The dark web is designed to be anonymous, so catching these criminals is like chasing ghosts. There was this one case, though. It's a stark reminder that in the digital age, protecting our online identities is more crucial than ever. Chapter 5. Laundering Millions. The Crypto Connection. OK, let's talk about money, honey, because on the dark web, money laundering is a multi-billion dollar industry. And cryptocurrency? It's the currency of choice. See, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin offer a level of anonymity that's just too good to resist for criminals. They can move vast sums of money across borders without leaving a trace. It's like magic money laundering. They use these super complex methods like mixing services and peer-to-peer -peer transactions to make the money trail disappear. It's like trying to follow a trail of breadcrumbs in a hurricane. And the authorities? They're playing catch-up trying to keep up with the constantly evolving tactics of these cyber criminals. But here's the thing, it's not just about hiding illegal funds anymore. Cryptocurrency laundering is now funding everything from terrorism to human trafficking. It's like a dark web. Hydra, you cut off one head and two more grow back. There was this one case. Chapter 6. Vanished Real Disappearances and the Dark Web. Guys, this last chapter, it's the one that keeps me up at night. We're talking about real people, real disappearances, and the chilling possibility that the dark web played a role. These aren't just missing persons cases, okay? These are cases where there are strange connections, unexplained clues, or even direct evidence pointing to the dark web. It's like something out of a true crime documentary, but a thousand times creepier. Imagine this, someone you love vanishes without a trace. No note, no warning, just gone. Then the police uncover a hidden laptop, encrypted files, or a secret online life on the dark web. It's enough to send shivers down your spine. These cases are often shrouded in mystery with more questions than answers. Did they get caught up in something dangerous online? Were they targeted by someone they met on the dark web? Or did they simply choose to disappear to erase their digital footprint and start a new life? The truth is often elusive, leaving families and investigators grappling with unanswered questions and a haunting sense of dread. One case that always gets to me is, it's a terrifying reminder that the dark web isn't just a place for creepy stories and urban legends. It's a place where real lives can be shattered and real people can vanish without a trace. Outro, so there you have it. Six chilling tales from the dark web that prove the internet can be a terrifying place. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The dark web is vast and constantly evolving, with new horrors lurking around every corner. Stay safe online, guys. Protect your information, be mindful of what you click on, and never, ever underestimate the power of the internet's dark side. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you found it intriguing.